these items. Okay, the first thing you want to do after running the Windows Update tool is to install your video card driver. You want to save the 3D Connection software to the very end after we've installed SOLIDWORKS because you want that to install on top of SOLIDWORKS uh, so it adds itself to the, to the pull-down menu. So we'll right-click the NVIDIA download. We'll run that as an administrator. We'll hit OK or yes. It's going to uh, expand itself into a, a temporary directory. Now, the, the big thing here you'll notice with this process is that whenever you install a new NVIDIA video card uh, driver, you want to make sure you use a specific option here in the installation called clean install. And what that, where, where that comes into play is after you've ac accepted the agreement, you want to go to custom, hit next, and all the defaults are fine, but this is the one option you want to you want to apply the perform a clean installation. This is critical to your install of the of, a, of the of an updated video card driver. Why? What this what this is doing? Is you can see down here it says removing previous version. This is going to remove every every remnant of the your, your existing um, Nvidia driver on your on your system. Okay, that's very critical. So it can re or it can, it can then install the proper NVIDIA driver on your system. So the first phase is to completely remove the old driver. It will, it will reboot, and after it's done rebooting, it will complete the installation. You can see here, my resolution has gotten really uh, very uh, coarse, and, it, um, and that's a temporary thing. And uh, in my case, uh, I've just rebooted, and I have now it's now finishing up the the installation of the video card driver and again so at one point you'll have to reboot and now I'm back I'm, I'm back up and it's finishing the installation of the, of the graphics card driver that's automatic it will automatically do that upon reboot All right after the there's a summary for the Nvidia installer there's confirming that that version our new version of uh, 306.79 is installed we'll close that and um, I typically like to reboot at this point, but before that, I want to do one last thing. You remember we downloaded a, a BIOS update for my, my T7500. So I'll run that, and then we'll reboot, and then we'll complete the whole process by installing SolidWorks. You can see it's right here. It's the T7500A14.exe. Very critical. You have to run this as an administrator. If you don't, it will not run properly. It just confirms here that you are currently on, a, on an older, uh, older BIOS, and you'll be going to A14. You continue. It will reboot. So we're in the home stretch of the process. So now that we've done some system maintenance, rebooted our system, we have a clean palette upon which we can install SolidWorks in, the, in our other plugins. So if you use the installation manager uh, earlier to download the files for SolidWorks 2013 in our case, or the future version we want to install, you'll find them by going to your documents, your your your, your documents. You'll find them under SolidWorks downloads if you still kept that folder. And you can see in my case I have the SolidWorks uh, 2013 Service Pack 0 installation folder. Now if you don't have this, don't panic. You can simply go to SolidWorks' website and download the the uh, most recent SolidWorks installation manager that will install all the um, all the components on your system. You simply put your serial numbers in. But if you did download this, this is how it works. So you open up the folder, you'll see a setup uh, file or executable. You'll run that, you'll accept the user agreement, and you'll notice it looks a little different. In our case, we want to do a simple installation of SolidWorks on our machine. It's called an individual installation. Uh, you'll hit next. You'll put in your SolidWorks serial numbers. In my case, I, I have uh, several products, so I'll, I'll type in those serial numbers. I'm going to go ahead and blank those out so I can uh, enter my, my personal serial numbers in here. After you've entered your serial numbers for the appropriate products in those boxes, you'll hit next, and your system, your uh, SolidWorks installation manager in particular, particular, will go and verify that you are entitled to that version of SolidWorks that you're trying, trying to, to install. This whole process takes a few minutes sometimes to uh, to just because you could any given day there's lots of people hitting this uh, hitting this server so it can be it can take a while sometimes, but by placing the serial number in those boxes you'll get a specific list of things that you're entitled to install. In my case, I have uh, several things here, including SolidWorks Plastics, and all those uh, products will be installed. I can change which what programs I want installed and which ones not. In my in my case here, I can install the PhotoView 360 Network Render Client if I wanted to. 
um, but for the most part, all the defaults are correct, including SolidWorks simulation. Again, if you have any questions to specific details, you can contact SolidBox or you can contact your SolidWorks reseller. But for the most part, it's good. However, there are some things that we prefer to to uh, modify for the during the installation process that we find to be uh, th th that we find to help perform uh, help performance on your SolidBox. For example, under download options, we recommend you change the settings so there is the the SolidWorks background downloader is not used. You, I we prefer not to use this because it takes up some bandwidth and it automatically downloads future service packs of SolidWorks. We find that to just be an, an inconvenience. So that's our only recommendation here. Um, if you have a specific network toolbox, you can change the location. Uh, you can re-point re, uh, SolidWorks to that location. In my case, it's fine. We're going to create a new toolbox under our C drive. We'll hit install now. And this process can take up to an hour depending on all the options you've chosen. So I'm going to stop the video and we'll, we'll pick up at the end and we'll wrap up the process by installing our 3D connection software. The installation manager is now complete and we're presented with a window that allows us to uh, take a look at the what's new PDF, which I highly recommend you do. Um, then there's the customer experience improvement program. We highly recommend that you, you uh, agree to this. This will allow us or your SOLIDWORKS reseller to uh, look at any events that may be causing your SOLIDWORKS to not perform as well as it can. It's basically just allowing the, um, uh, allowing the system to create a log. There's no information um, uh, being sent to SOLIDWORKS with any information. Um, there's complete an anonymity to this, uh, to this program, so we highly recommend you turn that on. And I'm going to turn off this option here to look at the PDF. And uh, it, it, it's prompting us to do a restart. We're going to restart later because we have one, la uh, one business matter to take care of. We want to install the, the uh, plugin, that, uh, the 3D connection plugin. And we're going to do that now. So I'll go to my downloads folder where I had previously saved the download. And you'll agree to the uh, installation. I'll unselect the check online option because I've already just downloaded it. I'll accept the licensing agreement. I'll do a complete install. And, and these are very important options to make sure that the 3D Wear software does start when Windows starts. And um, I don't need a... 3D mouse home desktop icon in my case. So I'll install that and I'll come back when this is done. After that after that point you want to you want to go ahead and restart your computer. And uh, after you restart your computer, you want to activate SolidWorks immediately. You simply type in your your email and uh, do an automatic transfer over the internet. We appreciate your time and we appreciate your business. If you have any technical questions related to the install of SolidWorks or the upgrade of SolidWorks, please do not hesitate to call contact your SolidBox representative. As always, we appreciate your time. We hope you have a great day.